Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about what's new in makeup news and I'm going to start with Jason Wu. Uh, Jason Wu, famous fashion designer, has launched his own cosmetics brand and it's going to be available at Target on the 17th and um, you can also purchase it on the Jason Wu Beauty website. Now it was supposed to launch on the website on the 14th and Target on the 17th. So I've been going back and forth, back and forth on this, trying to decide. At first when I heard about it, I was really excited. And then I started thinking, no. But you know, the way you look at things in regards to makeup, at least with me, can be different every day. And it just depends on what you're feeling at that moment. Because with me, one day I'll have on like electric blue eyeshadow and fuchsia lips. And then the next day I have on a super, super neutral eyeshadow look that you almost can't even see on camera. I actually have two eyeshadow palettes on <laughs> today. But... Um, it's not really showing up. It's too bad because I think in real life it looks really pretty, but it's not showing up on camera. And then I have on like um, sort of a neutral-ish lip. But anyway, my point is that, you know, if you really are into makeup, you don't have to stick to any one particular style. You can just do whatever you feel like that day. Well, Jason Wu Beauties, the aesthetic or his vision for this makeup company, it's a very natural, earthy um, look to the products. And depending on what day it is, one day I might think that's boring. I think I even said that in my last makeup news video. But then, like I said, when it first launched, I was so excited about it. So anyway, I ended up placing an order um, just prior to filming this video. It was supposed to be the 14th that you could order from his website but today's the 12th and the stuff was available and there's even um, some YouTube videos up already of people who have already ordered and gotten their products so it launched early anyway and um, I was mainly interested in the hot fluff I was going to say lipsticks, but they're not really just lipsticks because you can use them on eyes, cheeks, and lips. I'm hoping these are going to be a, a nice substitute for the Bite Multi Sticks that were discontinued a couple of years ago. Oh my God, I used to love those so much because there aren't that many products that you can use on eyes, lips, and cheeks. There are a lot of products out there that you can use on cheeks and lips, but not eyes too. I mean, that's why I went crazy buying the e.l.f. multi-sticks, because these can be used on eyes, lips, and cheeks. But the problem with these, well, it's not a problem. They are absolutely gorgeous, but they're all shimmers. I want something that is matte, too, so that I have a variety of finishes. Um, so I ended up ordering three of those hot, fluff, multi-purpose products. And the price point on Jason Wu's products, they're not cheap like Wet n Wild or Elf, um, but they're not luxury either like Pat McGrath or Charlotte Tilbury. They're somewhere in the middle. And um, I'm so grateful that he didn't go the luxury route because he absolutely could have. I mean, he's a high-end fashion designer. He was Michelle... Um, Obama's personal fashion designer when she was at the White House and so he he could have done anything he wanted but he wanted to keep things more affordable so thank you Jason Wu for that <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to even try the brand because I have to I have to be very careful like what I buy and how much I buy you know I, I only have X amount of money to spend because I don't have a million subscribers on YouTube and I'm not getting anything for free. So I have to be careful about, you know, what I'm getting and how much it costs. So anyways, you will see that it's probably going to take um, a couple weeks to process and ship and everything. And I don't even know where it's coming from. 
uh, where the warehouses are or anything because I've never, obviously I've never ordered from this brand before. But just wanted to let you know I changed my mind yet again about the Jason Wu Beauty brand. Okay, so let's move on now and let's move over to Instagram and see what's happening there. So it looks like Nomad Cosmetics is launching uh, the Land of Fire and Ice palette. And this is uh, part of their travel series and this is going to represent Iceland. And it is beautiful. This is a gorgeous, stunning palette. However, uh, I don't own anything by Nomad. It is a brand that I've always been curious about. But the palette is $37. That's, that's more than what I can spend on just one thing. So I won't be buying it, but I do think it's beautiful. I've heard good things about their formula. And if money was no object, I probably would be buying that. But yeah, that is very, very pretty. And I like how they put uh, patterns on the eyeshadows. That just makes it like extra pretty. So that's very nice. And then the next thing I see is Kiko Milano is releasing a collection called the Romantic Collection. Now, I'm a bit confused because I could have sworn that I heard that Kiko Milano was going out of business. They closed all their stores in the United States and a certain amount of time went by. And now I guess you can get their products at Ulta. And... But I could have sworn that I read somewhere that they had gone, they were going out of business. So let me know. Am I crazy? I mean, <laughs> I'm almost certain that I heard that. Um, I'm not interested in this collection. Um, if you like this brand, that's cool. You do you. But I've tried some of their products and I didn't like anything that I tried from them. So... This is definitely a thumbs down for me. Okay, what else do we have here? There is a new collection from Morphe. It's called the Sweet Oasis Collection. Very pretty. Very pretty. I've had uh, some good luck with Morphe. I've had a lot of things from them that I really liked. And... Um, I know people are very opinionated and uh, wishy-washy about Morphe as far as like their policies and their um, their makeup and everything, but I've I've had good luck with the brand, especially the eyeshadows. I really I do like their eyeshadow formula. I think it's it's good. Um, however. Right now, there are so many other brands that I'm more interested in than Morphe that I think this is a pass for me, but I think it's a beautiful palette, and there are also some brushes and lip glosses that go with this. I do like their brushes. Um, there are certain brushes that in their line that I use every single day to do my makeup, so I do really like their brushes. And lip gloss, I don't think I've ever tried Morphe's lip glosses before. I don't think. Not that I recall. But uh, this is a pass for me only because there's so many other things that I want and um, so this isn't as high up on the list. But it is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Absolutely. I really like the color story on it very much. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Colourpop is releasing a a uh, set of their cream gel liners, the ones in the pots, and it's a beautiful color selection. I, I really like that color selection. I don't think I've ever tried these because um, they're in pots. And the thing is, like you guys know that I have all the AOA Studio ones, and I do really like them, but I think that I think I prefer pencils 
to things in pots because this is an extra step. This is more work. This means you're going to need to take a brush and you're going to have to very carefully apply it. Whereas with a pencil, it's just easy and you just take the cap off and draw it on and you're done. I do really like the way that eyeliners in pots look though after you apply them. But um, so if you're somebody that doesn't mind that extra step, this is a really pretty collection of their cream gel liners. So that's what I think about that. Okay, ColourPop is also releasing the Cotton Candy Collection. And it centers around the Cloud Spun Palette, which I think was already available, but now they've built a whole collection around it. And the theme is pink. I've, I've definitely looked at that eyeshadow palette many times when I've been on the website. Never pulled the trigger, but thought about it many times. And they've built a whole collection around it now. They've got blushes and lip glosses and lipsticks and a highlighter. And it's really, really pretty. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not going to say that I'm not going to buy it because it is really pretty. But I think there's other things right now that the money has to go towards. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything else? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, man. I wish I could go ham on this. MAC Cosmetics has released a bunch of shades, new shades, of their paint pots. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I usually use Painterly Paint Pot every day as an eyeshadow base for my eyeshadows. And if you've been with me for a long, long time, like 10 years ago, long time, um, I used to be obsessed with all the many beautiful shades of paint pots that MAC used to have. They used to release new shades of these all the time. And then at some point they just discontinued a bunch of them and just left themselves with like five colors, the boring ones. <laughs> um, but they've just released a whole bunch of new shades of paint pots. And sadly, I can't. They're $23 a piece, but oh man, if you've got money to spend, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous shades that they've just released. Um, there's a bright purple. They brought back Taylor Gray, which is the taupe one, which that can even be like a multi-purpose product. You can use that. Like uh, if, if you have a certain color brow, you can run that through your brows. You can use that as an eyeliner. You can use it as an eyeshadow base. You can use it alone. Um, oh, Taylor Gray. Yes, I remember it fondly. They have... Um, they have a, a emerald green one. Um, there's a shimmery burgundy that also has like pink shimmer in the burgundy. Uh, that's just, oh, it's gorgeous. This, this, yeah. Here's the thing. I went on Mac's website, didn't see them. And I thought, well, maybe it hasn't been released yet. No, that's not it. I think this is an Ulta exclusive because... I went on Ulta's website and there they were. And right now, all the new shades are still available at the time of me filming this. So if this is something you're interested in, run, do not walk to Ulta's website and place your order now because I have a feeling that the really unique, beautiful shades are going to go out of stock quickly. Yeah, I would love to get one of these, but I just, $23 for one eyeshadow can't do it. The only reason why I can justify my MAC Painterly Paint Pot is because I use it every single day under all my eyeshadows. It's it's my eyeshadow base. It's my eyeshadow primer. It's awesome. If if you're looking for a really good eyeshadow primer, it's not marketed as an eyeshadow primer, but it's it's pretty amazing. So, if Painterly is not a good color for you, 
they've just released um, a warm nude color called Contemplative State. It's a very, very warm nude, but that might work better for some people. Um, there's a peach, there's a brown, there's a bright orange, there's a, a black. The black is called Black Mirror. They used to have a black before, but it wasn't called that. Um, there's a silver, there's a shimmery pink, there's um, they brought back Let's Skate. That's a soft pink that has a little bit of sparkle to it. So yeah, if this is something that you're interested in, there's that. Uh, Violet Voss has a new fun size palette out. It's very, very like neutral every day. It's called The Wildflower. I've never tried Violet Voss. And um, those fun size palettes are quite affordable. They're only $18 and you get 10 eyeshadows. So that's, that's very reasonably priced and I've heard good things about their eyeshadow formula. Um, they seem to have a wide variety of these fun size palettes now at Sephora. I don't think my Sephora carries Violet Boss though. So if I was going to try something like that, I would have to order it online. But I've been tempted so many times by these fun size palettes by Violet Voss. So, yeah, there's, there's other things that I'm getting or more interested in right now. But, uh, and then, um, I think I might have mentioned in the last video or in another video that Melt is releasing their Blueprint collection and um, this is based off of the Blue Stack. Uh, yeah, Melt is... I have some Melt, but that's not my price point. But that is pretty, but I feel like I can dupe that with the two Melt palettes that I already have. And then ColourPop has got a... Year of the Ox Chinese New Year collection, very neutral, a mixture of shimmers and mattes. Um, the packaging is pretty, but if you look at the eyeshadows, you probably already have this a million times over in your collection. But it is very pretty packaging. I think we should leave it there because this video is getting long now. So. Did you see anything there that enticed you? Um, yeah, I ordered three of those hot fluff uh, components from the Jason Wu Beauty. And the rest of it, it's a lot of good stuff coming out right now. A lot of good stuff. So that's it for today, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.